Good afternoon and um, welcome to Pilates. Um, today we're going to start off with a standing warm-up. So let's hope everybody's feeling fit and well. Um, just before we start the class, um, if you have any aches or pains or feel that any exercise throughout the class is uncomfortable, stop and don't do it. Um, just listen to your own body and just do what you can. So just starting off standing nice and tall, feet together, heels and toes touching. Grounding through the big toe, baby toe and heel. We lengthen up through the legs. Draw the abdominals towards the spine, engage the pelvic floor. Spine is nice and long and we circle the shoulders. I want to imagine that we've got this nice shining light extending out from the crown of the head, lengthening towards the ceiling. And think about the opposing length through the tailbone, lengthening down towards the floor. Change direction with those shoulders. And we want to keep stability through the hips as we roll the shoulders forward. Take the arms up and over the head, keep the ribs connected to the hips. Lengthen through one side of the body and stretch all the way through the side. Inhale, come back to center. We elongate through the spine. Exhale and extend to the opposite side. Enjoying that length through the side of the body. One more time each side. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale. Lengthen to the opposite side of the ribs. Inhale, come back to center. Circle the wrists as you float the arms back to the floor. Or to the sides. Take the toes apart. And grounding through those balls of the feet, we want to lift up onto the toes, pushing through the big toe, and then dropping the heels back to the floor. Thinking about length, trying to reach as high as we can towards the ceiling, and drop. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. Inhaling through the nose, reaching as tall as you can. Try not to hinge from the hips and lean forward. We want to lift as high as we can. Lift and hold this position here if you can. And if we want to, we're going to start to bend through the knees. And push back up. Drop the heels. Float the hands down. Inhale. Come up onto the toes. Option two, bend the knees. And push back up through those toes. Drop the heels and float the arms down. Let's do it one more time. Inhaling through the nose, chin is parallel to the floor, we extend through the crown of the head. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees if you can. If you can't bend the knees, just work at your own level. Stay on the toes if you can. If you can't stay on the toes, drop the heels and work at your own level. Drop the heels, load the hands down. Bring the heels in line with the toes this time and we're just going to circle the arms in front mobilizing the shoulders each time crossing the opposite hand in front of the other now take the arms wide palms to the ceiling and we're going to just lift one foot off the floor and then the other Extending those arms as wide as you can. Try and keep the hips stable, grinding through the big toe, baby toe and heel. And if you find that you can just lift your toe off the floor and hold it there and balance, that's fine. If it's easier to put your hands on their hips, that's fine also. So we're going to try and achieve a little bit of stability through the hips and balance as we circle the arms. Push through the big toe, engage the inner thighs, lengthen the spine. 
and we change legs and we change direction with the arms. If this is your option, stay here or here. And if you can, get that knee as high as you can. Three, two, and float the arms down, float the foot back down. For this exercise, I'm going to stand side on. So we're going to take one leg and step back, pushing the heel to the floor. You're going to hinge forward through the hips so you get a nice long line from the crown of the head. Option one. We're going to step in with that bent leg and then push back, getting a nice leg through this hip. Inhale. Exhale. We can add the arms in if you wish. And step in. And step back. Step in. Inhale. Exhale. Stepping back. Thinking about length through the fingers, length through the toes. Harder option. We lengthen that leg and extend it through. You work at your level. Let's try one more. Exhale, reach. Step back in. Stand tall and pump the heels. Extend the opposite leg. Option one, hand on the hips. We step in. Standing leg is nice and strong. Inner outer thighs engaged. Glutes are strong. Lengthen. Squeeze the glute as you lengthen. Inhale. Harder option. Tap the floor. Lengthen the arms. Harder option. Extend. Extend and lengthen. Abdominals braced. Try and focus on a spot on the floor if you can. Last one. Step in. Stand tall. And pump those heels. Rolling down into roll down towards the floor. Scoop the abdominals, shoulders back, hands hang by the floor. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest. You start to slowly roll the spine all the way down, controlling as you move. Just flopping all the way forward like a rag doll. Lengthening through the hamstrings. Let your body weight hang. Feel that length through the backs of the legs. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale. Exhale. Driving through the heels, lift the tailbone and slowly start to stack the spine all the way up one vertebra at a time. Floating all the way up, chin parallel to the floor. Let's do one more inhale. Exhale, brace the abdominals, roll the shoulders forward. Upper back, mid back, lower back, and if you need to bend the knees, just let the body lift hang. Place the hands on the floor and bend the knees and walk out onto all fours. We want the knees in line with the hips and the knees and ankles in line. We want the wrists directly below the shoulders. And just drive, pushing through the fingertips and the outsides of the palms. Brace the abdominals, the spine is long. And the, just take the leg closest to me and extend it long. You'll feel the length through the front of the hip. Glutes are engaged. From here, we're just gonna lift that leg and tap it back to the floor. So we lift and extend. We want to think about the length from the crown of the head all the way through to the tailbone. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Lift. 
and lift. Exhale, lift and hold that extension if you can. If this is uncomfortable on the wrists, by all means come down onto the forearms as long as you keep that long spine throughout. So, option one, we tap the toe to the floor and we're going to come into Pilates press up. So our body weight comes forward, our elbows come in to skim the ribs and we push back up. Harder option, we keep that extension and lift through the leg as we push down and push up. Exhale. Last one here. Pushing back. Bring the toe back to the floor if you need to. Have a little rest and watch what we're going to do next. Option one, we take the opposite hand, salute the floor, and we're going to just keep the hips still, but tap the elbow to the floor and lift. If it's easier for you, you can keep the knees bent. And we're just going to rotate through the spine. Lower. And lift. Harder option. Lift and extend. Show you a different angle. Extending out through the crown of the head and also out through the toes. Brace the abdominals. Last one. Bring the hands to the floor. Bring the leg back in, set the tailbone to the heels and bring the crown of the head. Elongate it away from the tailbone. Coming back up to sit. We'll do the same on the opposite side. So we extend the leg, brace the abdominals, rib hip connection, lift that leg and tap it down. Lift and lower. Exhaling to lift. Inhaling lower. Shoulders and hips are stable as we lift and lower. Harder option, lift and hold. A few breaths here. Into Pilates press ups. Option one, knees are bent. Bring the nose to the floor as you inhale. Push the floor away as you exhale. Harder option, extend the leg. Elbows come in towards the ribs. Harder option. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Last one. Push back up. Lift the opposite hand, saluting towards the floor. Tap the elbow to the floor and bring yourself back to your start position. Modify this by bringing the toe to the floor. You've got a little bit more of a stability or easier option to here. Two more. Bring the hand to the floor, slide the foot back in. Bring the tailbone to the floor, bring the chin to the chest and lift the belly as high as you can towards the ceiling. <sighs> Exhale, bring the tailbone to the ceiling, chin all the way forward, belly to the floor, cat cow. <sighs> you can add a little bit of a challenge to this. <sighs> Extending one leg. 
bring the knee in towards the nose and as you extend the leg lift it high and lift the chin inhale exhale lift and extend through harder option elbow to knee exhale and lengthen arms and legs in opposition inhale exhale lengthen let's do one more stretch and lengthen and float back to the floor tailbone to heels keep the spine rounded and lengthen the arms all the way away long slow breaths through the nose out through the mouth and back onto all fours wrists below the shoulders knees below the hips cat cow option one you stay here if this is your level option two we lengthen and roll the spine option three we bring the knee towards the nose lift and extend the chin and the foot at the same time inhale harder option lengthen opposite arm exhale let's do the last one here exhale lengthen make it count bring it back in round the back sit onto the tailbone onto the heels and keep the spine curled slowly and segmentally roll up to sit drawing the shoulders all the way back bring the hands up to the temples or by the ears and we just want to rotate through the spine moving through the shoulders keeping the hips facing the front of the room If you want to add a further challenge, rotate, extend both arms, stretch them as far away as possible from each other, rotate back to centre. You can come up higher if you want, rotate, extend, lengthen the fingertips, inhale centre, exhale reach. Standing out through the crown of the head. Lengthen through. Pull it back in. Come back to centre. And slowly bring yourself onto your tummy. Belly button pulled up away from the mat. If you need to, you can place a little tile in front of your forehead to rest you down on the floor. Toenails down on the floor hip bones grounded inhaling through the nose to prepare on the exhale we're going to lift and extend one leg pointing through the toe slowly lower that leg back to the floor exhale lift and lengthen we're driving the hip bones down squeezing those glutes as tight as you possibly can the grounded leg is going to help you push against the floor and stabilize to lift what we don't want to do here is to lift the hip we want to try and lengthen out of the front of those hips brace the abdominals exhale lift inhale lower now if you wish we can lift the opposite arm and lower exhale extend we think about extending an opposition through the fingers and through the toes working those abs and obliques inhale lower exhale lift and lengthen
harder option. We lift both legs. We extend opposite arm and leg a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, lift and extend. Harder option, we extend both arms and flutter them in opposition for 10. Squeeze those abdominals as tight as you can. Nine, we breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Seven, six, five, four, do what you can. If you need to stop, please do. Three, two, and last one here. Float both arms and legs to the floor. And breathe. Slowly slide the hands underneath the hips. Sorry, underneath the shoulders. Glue the elbows in towards the ribs. Breathing in through the nose. Lift the crown of the head. The shoulders. And lengthen through that spine into a lovely spine extension. Look to where you feel comfortable. Breathe in through the nose. Keep the crown high as you start to place the spine back on the floor. One vertebra at a time. Breathe long and slow in. Exhale, lift the crown. The shoulders, the chest. Slowly lift the ribs. Push those hips down. Elongate the spine. Breathe in. Breathe out and slowly melt back to the floor. Inhaling through the nose. This time you're going to push up through the hands. Lift the spine. Lift the tailbone and hips and place the tailbone all the way down onto the heels. Just rest here for one wee second. Breathe long and slow. Just while we're here, take the wrists and circle the wrists. Coming from here back up onto all fours. So starting from four point knee, we keep the knee bent and we just lift that leg up and bring the knee back to the floor. Exhaling to lift, we want to aim to try to lift, keep the knee bent at 90 degrees. Exhaling to lift, inhale to lower, exhale lift, inhale lower. So we're going to lift that leg and hold it there. We're going to cross it over the opposite side and push back. Float back onto all fours. Inhale, lift that leg. Tap the knee down and sit back. Lift. Cross over. Sit back onto the heel. Lift. Cross it over. Come up and change legs. Drop that leg to the floor. Knees at 90 degrees, lift and lower. Show you a different angle. Lift. Now tap that leg over across and stretch it through. Lift. Tap the knee down and cross it over. If you can, sit towards the heels. Lift. Cross it over. Open up through those hips. Float it back up. And from here, untangle the legs. And let's roll down now onto our side. So we want the hips stacked. Shoulders stacked, and we're going to lengthen the legs and stack the knees and the ankles. So, 
We're going to start off with a leg lift. So you can keep your hand on the floor if you need to. Brace the abdominals, engaging through the pelvic floor. Option one, we can bend the bottom leg. That will give you a little bit of stability on the floor. Point the toe and we lift that leg and lower. Exhale to lift. We're going to do a little bit of hip work here. Now from here we're going to rotate through the hip. Big toe points to the ceiling. And you can lift a little bit higher. Flex the foot and drive down. Point the toe and lift. Slowly control that lift and lower. Try not to be rocking through the hips or the shoulders. We want to keep stable through the upper body. Point to the lift. Flex and lower. Point and lift. Now we want to hold it this time. Now from here we want to bend the knee. Bend the knee in. And lift. Flex the foot if you can. Bend. And lift. Inhale. Really extend out of that leg, out of that heel. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen. Drive that heel all the way down. Bring the leg forward. Flexing the foot. Point. Bring that leg back in line with the hips and then slightly behind the body. Flex and drive forward, point, drive back, keep it controlled, flex, drive forward, feel that length through the back of the leg, point, feel the leg through the front of the leg. Now bring that leg in line, extend the top arm. From here, we want to hinge forward with that arm as we Go forward, back with the leg. And we'll lengthen back. So our whole body now is acting like a pendulum. You want to feel the length all the way through the side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Float all the way forward. And all the way back. Bring it back to centre. And bend that leg back in. Leg circles. Option one, bottom leg bent. Extend the top leg. We're going to start off drawing little baby circles. So we're going to take that leg in line with the knee of the, so that it's slightly in front of the mat. Point the toe and we're going to draw little baby circles about the size of your teacup for it's six, five, four. Just breathing naturally here. Now, can we change direction with those circles for six? We'll start to feel the front of the hip getting warm. Two more. Last one. Take the leg in line and then slightly behind the body so you feel the length through the front of the hip. And we circle for six, five, four, three, two. Change in direction for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back in line with the hip. This time we draw as big a circle as we can for six. Stabilizing through the hips. Five, four, Last one here, we change direction. Stabilizing through that bottom leg. Two more. Last one. And relax, extend both legs. If we can, we hover both legs off the floor. If you can't, we just keep the bottom leg grounded. We're gonna lift and lower the top leg. So option one, we lift and lower. Option two, bottom leg hovers and we lift and lower. 
With that leg hovering, you're going to work the, the inner thigh of that lower leg a little bit more. Lift and lower. Three more. Now lift. We bring the bottom leg up to meet the top and drop. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring both legs up. Squeeze those inner thighs together. And if you can, take the bottom hand and ground it on the floor so that you've got a little bit of weight to push against. And we're going to take the top hand and reach towards the ankles. Inhale and lower. Lengthen through. Exhale, lift. And lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. Five. Four. Three more. Last two here. Now lift this one up and hold it. Pulse for ten. Nine. Eight. Keep breathing. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly. Take it to the floor. And we'll round your repeat on the opposite side. Side lying. Top leg extended, knees are bent. Sorry, bottom leg's bent. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. Lift and lower. Warm up that top hip. Two more. Now we rotate through the femur. Big toe to the ceiling, flex and lower. Point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift, abdominals braced, pelvic floor engaged. Point and lift. Now flex the foot, drive the knee in and push it away. Five. Lengthen. Four more. Three. Two. Knee to elbow. Drive it long and extend it out. Keep the foot flexed. We swing the leg forward with control. Point and bring it back. Flex and forward, point, back, flex, and point, flex. Point, now add the arm extension and swing it through. Use the weight on the elbow or on that extended arm. Try and keep the bicep in line with the ear of that moving arm. Last one. Bring it back in, in line. Leg circles. Take that top leg in front so it's in line with that bottom knee and we draw little circles. Keep control through the hips. We're going for six. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Change of direction for six. Bracing the abdominals. Lengthen them through the spine. Last one here. Take that leg in line and then slightly behind and circle for six. Grounding through that lower leg. Keeping control through the hips. Little tiny circles, change direction for six. Last one, bring that leg in line with the hip, ankle and knee are in line and circle for six, five, change direction for six, if you get a little cramp just stop, Stretch it out and start again. Last one here. Circle and rest. Extend both legs. You can either keep bottom leg down or keep it elevated as we lift the top leg. Lifting and lowering. Engaging through the abs. Four. 
three, two, and last one. Lift and hold. We lift the bottom leg, lift and lower. Five, four, three, two, lift and hold. Pushing through that bottom hand, extending through the top arm, lift and lower. Exhaling to lift, inhale to lower. Three more. Two. And your final one, we lift and hold. And if you can, we pulse for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and the last one here. Slowly lower back to the floor with control and roll onto our back. Okay, so knees are bent. Abdominals braced, pull the ribcage to the hips. Shoulders are on the floor, collarbone is wide. Inhale through the nose, lengthen through the crown of the head. On our exhale, we're going to slowly lift the head and the shoulders, tucking the chin in so we look between the knees. Inhale and lower back down. Exhale. We want to feel the abdominals work here as we roll up into a crunch position and then slowly control the upper body back to the floor. Inhaling through the nose, exhale. Slowly tuck the chin as we start to look towards the knees. Now you should have your shoulder blades off the mat and you should feel the lower ribs still grounded on the floor and roll back down on your inhale. Now, if you want to just stay with this and feel those abdominals working, you stay at this level. If you need to, you can take your hand behind your head to help you lift the head up. And down. Once you start to get the strength through the abdominals, you'll be able to come up and down with ease. Trying to strengthen through the neck also as you lift. Inhale and lower. Now this time what we want to aim for is a lift and hold. You can extend the arms down by the sides of the shoulders. The arms are in line with the shoulders. You're reaching towards your hips. Now we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. For five, four. Draw the belly in tighter and pull the lower back so that it's nice and grounded into the floor. Two more and one. And slowly start to roll the spine back to the floor. If you need to have a rest at any time, please do. Inhale, exhale, brace the abdominals, lift all the way up, reaching the fingertips to the heels. <sighs> Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. We're going to start to challenge this position a little bit more. So if you find that this is your level, you stay here. <sighs> Inhale, slowly exhale and roll back to the floor. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. Looking between the knees, extending the arms. We're going to keep the hips as stabilized as we can. We're going to start to slide one foot all the way away. Maintain the stability through this upper body as we reach. Inhale, brace the abdominals. Slide back in. So we don't want anything here moving. Slide the opposite leg out. Flex the foot. Slide the leg back in. If at any time you feel you want to roll the upper body back to the floor, please do. Shoulder blades are wide. Collarbone is wide. We want to feel this working through the lower abs and the upper abs. Bring that leg in and slowly roll the spine all the way back to the floor. Roll the shoulders. We're gonna take this one more step further. We inhale through the nose. Exhale, slowly roll up. 
fold it here. Otherwise, you can just roll down and roll up and stay with your crunch. We take one arm. Shoulder blades are still and stable. Extending out through that arm as much as you can. Bracing those abdominals, pulling them in tight. Lengthening through the fingertips. But what we don't want is to lift the shoulder. The shoulders stay down and away from the ears. Can we extend both arms? So we want the bicep in line with the ear rather than taking it all the way out of alignment. Last one here. Bring the arms back down and slowly roll the head back in. Hug the knees to the chest. Have a little rest here if you want to. I'm going to show you the last level. Inhale through the nose, abdominals, breast. Exhale, lift. Lengthen the arms towards the heels. Extend one leg. Extend one arm. Slide them back in together. Exhale. We keep stability through the trunk. Harder option. The arms stay where they are. And we just move through the legs. Exhale. Inhale. One more each side. Slide that leg back in. Float the arms back by the sides. And slowly roll the head to the floor. Hug the knees into the chest and circle. Hugging the knees in. Rolling like a ball. We inhale through the nose. On our exhale, we brace the abdominals. We lift the tailbone slightly off the floor. We bring the nose towards the knees and roll back down. Exhale into lift. Inhale to lower. Option two. We lift into our little ball chip. Hug the knees as tight as we can. And we brace the abdominals as we start to massage the spine, rolling onto the shoulder blades and never onto the neck. Coming up onto the sit bones. Using momentum slightly, but we want to try and control that momentum so that the feet don't hit the floor. So we lock those abdominals as we sit tall. that we missed out on last week's class very quite an advanced exercise but I'm going to give it a go all the same so we're going to sit up with our legs crossed similar to roll like a ball the legs are crossed we're going to take one hand and hold on to the toes of the opposite feet so we sit tall we roll the spine and look towards the feet Inhaling through the nose, we're going to lift the feet and try and hold that position. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Breathing long and slow in through the nose. Can we switch legs and hold? Keep that C curve in your spine. So we're just going through a little bit of prep for this exercise. Change one more time. And then last time. And then bring the feet to the floor. Opening up the hips. 
we want to just bring the hands in front and slowly roll through the spine bringing the body bit forward and then slowly bring it back up so from here we want to try and take the hands by the sides lift the bottom off the floor and bring the hands in front arch the back come back to your neutral position take the hands behind and sit up now i'm going to demonstrate the exercise before i want you to try it um, because as i said it is i didn't put it into class last week because it is very challenging and I don't want anybody getting hurt but a few people have asked me to, to show them it so for the crab we're holding on to opposite feet sitting tall we curl the spine and we start to roll back switch legs and roll back up okay so we inhale exhale roll back switch legs and come up roll back switch come up i'm going to move back because i need a little bit more room so we inhale just be aware if you have sore knees so we roll back switch legs roll up roll back harder option we roll back switch we roll up and come up tap the forehead on the floor what we don't want is to use momentum and slap your head down control back to your seated position roll back control roll up control onto your knees and then tap forward if you want to bring the hands in front and do like a little push up here take the hands back slide back scoop the abdominals roll back switch legs keep it controlled come onto the knees slowly tap the head to the floor and come back up to our seated position I hope you enjoyed that Sitting up nice and tall, extend the arms all the way out in front, lengthening the crown of the head to the ceiling. We inhale, spine stretch forward. We imagine that we've got a big imaginary ball between our arms as we curl the crown of the head all the way forward, hinging through the hips. Slowly lengthen all the way back up, stacking the spine. One more time, inhale, exhale roll the spine hinge through the hips lengthen all the way through stack that vertebra one more time inhale sit tall take the arm that's closest to me open it through and close it up inhale if you need to bend the knees keeping the tailbone seated on the floor Exhale, open up. Inhale, close. Last one here. Sitting tall. Inhale, take one arm up, extend it tall. Look up at that hand and rotate through. Circle it back in. Inhale, lengthen that arm up. Look at that finger, the fingers. Rotate through and circle. Open up the chest. Exhale, close through the spine. Inhale, extend the spine. Look to the ceiling. Inhale, close. Lift the chin towards the ceiling. Lift the breastbone. Exhale, close it up. Bring the hands to the knees. And that's it for today. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the class. Hope you're all feeling fit and well. Um, and stay indoors, stay safe. And hopefully see you all next week. If you want to join next week, I'm going to try and do a standing class. Um, so you may need to use a chair or a wall. Um, okay, so see you all next week. Thank you very much. Bye.